Hey everyone, welcome back to tech.net. Today, I'll be guiding you through how to relock the bootloader and install stock ROM on the OnePlus 11R, which is super helpful if your device is bricked or stuck in a boot loop. And don't worry, this process can work on any OnePlus device. Just make sure to download the correct files for your model. Also, for extra support, I've created a Telegram group and the link is in the description below. Do check that out. You can see my phone is stuck in boot loop, so let's get it fixed. Also, some devices can be brick and directly go into fast boot. Let's dive right in. So, here's my OnePlus 11 are stuck in a boot loop. This happens when things go wrong with your phone software. But don't worry, we'll fix it. To start, I'm going to boot the device into fast boot mode. Just press and hold the volume down and power buttons together until you see the fast boot screen. Now that we're in fast boot mode, let's move over to the PC. First, head to the description for the download link for the stockroom files. Click the download button to download the file. I'm going to extract the zip file now. Once that's done, all I need to do is open the flash.bat file to start the flashing process. Now connect your phone, which is in fast boot mode. It's that simple. You'll see the flashing process happening on the screen. Once the flashing is done, the phone automatically restarts. Now it's like new. We've successfully restored the stock ROM. Now to relock the bootloader. I'll boot the phone back into fast boot mode again by pressing volume down and power button. Now connect the phone to PC again and go to platform tool, which I will link file in description. Unzip the file and in that folder type CMD on file explorer shown in the video. Then type the command, fast boot flashing lock and hit enter. The phone will reset with the bootloader locked and that's it. Just set up your phone and your device is ready to use. The OnePlus 11 R is back to its original state. The bootloader is locked and everything is good to go. If you found this helpful, make sure to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe for more tutorials like this. And don't forget to join our Telegram group for extra support. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.